Hello everybody, it's Bernadette again. Let me show you how I created that beautiful red rose on black base. I've got a wood board canvas. It's 25 centimeter round. And I've covered it with a thin layer of gesso and that is now dry. So on top of this, I'm going to apply a black base. And then I'm going to use two shades of red. So let me tell you about those colors. I've mixed up my black base. I'm using a Dallas craft paint. This is a very thick paint, highly pigmented paint. So it's a beautiful paint to use as a base coat. And I've mixed that one part paint to one part pouring medium. I added no extra water. So I used 30 grams of the paint and I added 30 grams of my glue and water pouring medium. And then the colors, the two red colors that I'm using, those are the different shades of red. So this is Dala's Acrylic Deep Red. And I'm using Zalcraft Acrylic. And the color is called Dark Red. And I've mixed these the same way, one part paint to one part pouring medium. However, for the Dala paint, I had to add about seven grams of water because this acrylic paint is a heavy body paint. It's a very thick paint. And then for Zalcraft, I did not add any water. I just used 30 grams of paint to 30 grams of pouring medium. And these little bottles, they are liner bottles. You can purchase them from your P&A store and they take about 60 grams of paint. So for this, uh, the flower chain pool, the technique, the paints need to be of a, a medium consistency. Um, the same consistency that you would perhaps use for your flip cup pours um, as well. So I have my chains all cut up. These chains will become my tools. I've got my chains and they are cut in different lengths and I'm going to be using them to pull the rose flower on this board. So let me get my base coat laid down and then we'll continue with the pull. Now I have been experimenting and experimenting with this technique and I've discovered that your base coat needs to be very, very thin. Just covering the canvas, not, uh, not flowing off, just a base layer. So while I'm doing this, I want to please ask you if this is your first time viewing my video please consider subscribing to my channel it really means a lot and it really helps and once again thank you to every single person no matter where you are in the part of the world Thank you so much for coming back and for watching my videos, for liking, for sharing, for commenting. Alright, let me just give that a quick torch just to pop the bubbles.
So I'm going to use the back of a plastic spoon to lift off the excess paint. Right. So the half moon again. Just nicely overlapping.
and there you have it a beautiful 3d red rose i thoroughly enjoyed that process let me torch it and then i'll bring it down for a closer look